So hello, my name's Tim Rittman. I'm a brain doctor, that's a neurologist, and I'm also a brain scientist, so I do research about the brain. So this is our brain, and it's absolutely amazing. There are 80 billion brain cells tucked in here, and it weighs just a bit bigger than a bag of sugar, about 1.3 kilos. Now, this is a full-size brain, so from front to back, it's about 18 centimetres, and it's about eight centimetres from side to side. The brain is amazing. It's in charge of everything that we do, whether we're eating, sleeping, breathing. The brain is in charge of all those things. So why don't we have a little look at the brain, see if we can work out what the different bits of the brain are for. We can look at the brain and see it's all folded up. It looks a bit like a shriveled walnut, I think. And all these uh, folds are different bits of the brain which have different functions. So at the front of the brain, this bit's called the frontal lobe. And then we have the back bit of the brain called the parietal lobe here. Then right round the very back, we have this bit of the brain called the occipital lobe. And then round the side, we have this bit of the brain, which is called the temporal lobe. So let's have a look at those in a bit more detail. So let's think about looking at something. So when we see something, let's say we're looking at a car going past down the road. So we see that car with our eyes, and the signals from that car come all the way back along nerves right to the back of the brain, to this occipital lobe right at the back. So we want to know something about the car. We want to know where it's going. Is it going fast or slow? And that is told us by the parietal lobe here. So the signals come from the front to the back of the brain, and the occipital lobe sends the signals up here to the parietal lobe to tell us how fast the car's going. Now we also want to know what colour the car is. So the occipital lobe sends the signals round here to this temporal lobe. Now, the, now I think the brain looks a little bit like a boxing glove, and the temporal lobe is a little bit like the thumb tucked underneath the boxing glove and the temporal lobe tells us what colour the car is and what make of car is, so what the car is. So we can think of that as the where coming up the top here and the what coming round the bottom here. Now let's have a look inside the brain. So we have two halves to the brain, they're called hemispheres, and let's have a look inside the left hemisphere. There's all sorts of interesting bits of the brain at the bottom here, which are to do with thinking and balance and breathing and things like that. But let's take the top off the brain, see what we can see underneath. Now, underneath all those thinking parts of the brain cells on the outside of the brain is this area here, which is full of nerve fibres that crisscross across the brain and carry messages from one part of the brain to another. Now let's see what we can find underneath the, the brain. And we can find a little white thing here. Now that's called the hippocampus. Now hippocampus means seahorse in Greek. Doesn't look much like a seahorse to me, but someone thought it did at some point, so they called it the seahorse or the hippocampus. That's a really important part of the brain because it's to do with memory and thinking. So when you remember something, so if I told you that I'm wearing a blue shirt, and you'll try and remember that for the next 10 minutes, that's the hippocampus there, trying to remember that piece of information about my blue shirt. There's another bit of the brain right at the back here called the cerebellum, and that helps us stand up straight. If the cerebellum doesn't work properly, we get a bit wobbly and fall over. So that's the brain and all the different parts of the brain and what they do. So when you're going to school, just have a think about what you're thinking about, about which parts of the brain you're using when you're walking to school, when you're looking at things, when you're trying to remember all those facts and figures in maths or history. Don't forget, it's your amazing brain which is doing all those things.